As you go through the examples that follow, you may notice that certain strategies use different mixes of products, yet have similar risk-reward structures. This is because the prices of puts and calls are inextricably linked to each other, and the price of the underlying stock, through an equation known as put-call parity. The call price plus the strike price is equal to the forward value of a stock price plus the put price. It is important to use the forward value of the stock, which is adjusted for interest rates and dividends, rather than strictly the current price of the stock. We can calculate the forward value this way. The forward value equals the current value multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate times the days until expiration divided by 365 less dividends. In a low rate environment, the forward value of a stock that pays no dividends is roughly equal to the current value. If interest rates are high, or a stock is hard to borrow, or the stock pays a dividend during the life of the option, the forward value may differ meaningfully from the current stock price. When we examine the put-call parity formula, simple algebra shows us to demonstrate how different structures have similar payoffs. For example, the call price is equal to the forward value minus the strike price plus the put price. This shows that the value of a call is the same as being long a stock and long a put. You will notice that those payoff graphs look quite similar. As you go through the study guide, keep this equation in mind when you see other similar looking graphs. If we structure the equation this way, we see that a long call and short put with the same strike and expiration creates a synthetic future. The forward value equals the strike price plus the call price minus the put price. The difference between the forward value and the current value of a stock is a function of interest rates and dividends. Because option prices are based on the forward value of the underlying product, it is crucial that options investors consider the effects of dividends and interest rates when implementing their strategies. So keep this in mind as we move forward.